Hey Pearls, welcome back. And on today's video, I have another brand new budget update for you guys. This month, I'm trying to start something a little bit different. I've con it, I've gone in and done little updates with you every single time um, something happened in the budget, mainly just when I'm like doing the bills and budgeting on our weekly or semi-weekly basis. Um, the reason I decided I wanted to do that is it just captures all the excitement, all of the anguish, everything that all the emotions that go in to doing a family budget. All along the way, I'm sharing all the tips that we have learned as a family, the good and the bad, help hopefully help you guys with your own family finances. If that sounds good to you, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. All right, so it is, let me see, 7.30 at night, the kids are in bed, I just got done paying all the bills and updating the budget. Um, a lot of times I get questions on like how to manage a budget with your hubby. Um, today's there's a lot that goes into it. I'm actually working on like a little boot camp for that exact topic. But um, a um, tip I want to share with you guys tonight is it doesn't mean that you guys have to be sitting right next to each other to be able to make it work. So. The way me and hubby do it is a lot of times I'm the one that kind of manages everything on the computer and then we talk through everything and he takes care of what he needs to that month and I take care of what I need to this month, but I'm the one on the computer. And a lot of times he's at work when I'm doing that. So all I do is I will send him off text that I need to. What do you think about this? How should we handle this? What are your thoughts on this? Or I'll just say, hey, can you call me real quick? And we talk for maybe like a couple minutes. Nothing too distracting from his work, obviously. But um, that's just one idea to put into your brain on how to manage your budget with your spouse and keep each other 100% in the loop because that is so important. Communication is just, I can't stress it enough. You both have to know what's going on and you both have to see where the numbers are going. So anyways, okay, so this is our first paycheck for the month of December. We get paid every other week. So actually the way the paychecks land this month, we're getting three paychecks and we only budget per two paychecks, which means our third paycheck for the month is going to pretty much be unaccounted for. So that'll be exciting when we get to that. So today's video in the last budget update, I showed you guys that we um, in January are going to start putting money towards um, our mortgage. Even though we're only going to be paying rent, we're going to put the difference just into our savings. Well, we kind of are already doing that right now. So we want, our goal is by the end of December, we're already, we already have our $1,200 one month ahead in savings. So that way when um, the first of the month comes, we already have all that money plus half a month in there. Does that make sense? So our goal by December is to have a full month's mortgage in there, which is $2,900. So that means we have to pay a little extra. So what we're doing is we're paying an extra $850 this paycheck, an extra $850 our second paycheck of the month. Then by the time our second paycheck of the month comes in, we will have um, we'll have a full mortgage amount in there. And then um, starting on our first paycheck in January, we'll just start budgeting the $1,475. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, it makes sense on paper. <laughs> I might have a hard time articulating it, but that's it. The other exciting thing that just happened is if you watched last month's budget update, you guys would know that I um, we had an overdraft fee and I could not figure out what happened. Well, there was um, one thing where our cell phone bill just didn't go through when we expected it to and it, that slipped through my sights for some reason. But the other thing I think I figured out, which is awesome, because if you have a hiccup, you make a mistake, you have to figure out what caused it so that way you can avoid it in the future. Big, big, big. You need to be able to do that. So the way we've been doing it is we budget for $175 for gas, which usually is plenty for us. $175 per paycheck. So that's $350 per month. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, $175, $350. Okay, yes. That makes sense. Um, well, the way we've been doing it in the past is we just were putting it on our credit card and then paying it off with the, with the, as soon as we got paid. Well, because we are just, um, always running our card 
the way that the monies were landing and the bills were being taken out was different than when we were just putting it all on the card. So I got it figured out. See how I made this note right here? Leave room for gas money. I just had to point that out, that I figured it out. And going forward, we should be good to go. And <laughs> can I just mention to you guys that before I turned on the screen, I was doing my like bills in here. You guys can't see this, but I'm sitting at my kitchen table and I have my feet soaking in some water. It's a nice way to pay your bills, you know, some water with some um, Epsom salt in there. And then I also had a face mask and I, I knew I had it on, but I just wasn't thinking. I'm like, okay, I'm trying this new thing with recording our budget updates. As soon as I do I pay the bills. Anyways, turned on the screen, turned on the video. I had a face mask on and I took it. I was like, oh, I'm going to just do it with it on. But I thought it'd be too distracting. So that's really the only thing that's pay, changed on this, on this budget update. If you're new to pennies and pearls, make sure to check out my playlist and go back to the beginning because that's where you'll see where we're doing our budget only on one income and you'll see where we, um, um, how we're trying to get out of debt and it's a lot different from the way it looks now and I also have a video so check the description box below. I'll have a link for you guys on how um, to start a budget and you can also get this free template that you can download into Excel or let, download into budget sheets like their excel thing which is 100 percent free also there's a free printable download if you'd rather do it on pen and paper so make sure to check that out as well for now you can just pause it you can see that these are the bills we pay with our first paycheck these are the bills we pay with our second paycheck and then um i broke down the cash envelope categories right here and um these are all our additional monthly expenses so Go ahead, hit pause if you want to take a minute to look through those itemized. But this is just a budget update video. Check out how to start a budget that won't fail. That's linked down below. That'll teach you how to set up this budget and customize it specific to how your family gets paid, when your family gets paid, all your bills, all of those types of things. So let's take a look. So for this first paycheck in December, um, we put $1,800 into our house savings and then $1,450, which was $600 rent and then $850 for the mortgage. And then up here, you guys can see how all of those um, deposits into our different savings um, reflects on our goals. So um, here's a little breakdown. Push pause if you want that itemized. This is the breakdown of all of the costs we could think of that we're going to need to actually move into the house and have the house like ready to go. And with that 1800 deposit that we just put into our savings, we have reached our goal. We have every dollar, hopefully, as far as we can tell with all the estimates and things that our lender has given us, we have all the money that we need in there. So that is awesome. So now going forward, we're going to continue to build um, next paycheck. We'll do an additional 850, which will get us to our goal of $2,900 ready to go the beginning of the month. So we have our first month's mortgage ready to go, even though we don't have to pay that until March. So we're ahead of the game on our mortgage. We're ready to go with all the cash we need to move into our house. So after we get that additional 850 on um, payment, we're going to have to readjust our budget again once we have our higher um, payments that we have to go from rent to mortgage, adjust that, um, figure out how to get a little bit into savings, and then our next goal will be to build our emergency fund up to 2000 and then once we reach that, our like emergency, emergency fund of three months worth of expenses, build that up to $17,400. So that's the update for this week. Now it is um, after our second paycheck for the month of December. We get paid every other week. Um, we actually are getting three paychecks this month just because of the way that the Fridays land on um, land in the month. Um, but our third paycheck, since it comes on like the very last day of the month, that's going to probably be a part of our January update. But anyways, I want to update you guys on what has changed since our last paycheck. Really nothing has changed on this page. If you're new here and want to take a look at exactly what our budget is, push pause. But the exciting news has to do with our savings. You can see with um, our paycheck that we got on the 15th, we put eleven seventy five towards our emergency house savings. Now this is why. Something has changed since I actually paid these bills. So I'm going to try to explain it the best I can. Originally, we had an estimate from our lender on how much we need for closing um, closing costs and the remainder of our down payment. So they send you these paperwork and it's like estimates, but it says estimates um, for your cash to close. So originally, this number right here was about $1,500 less. Well, today, 
we got, um, since we're supposed to close on the house in a week, I'm so excited, um, we got, I forgot what it's called, what is it? It's called a closi closing disclosure, which means it, this is pretty much, these are the numbers that are locked in, and I got it, and I realized that it was $1,500 more than we originally were expecting. It's not a huge deal, because we will have that cash ready to go by next Friday, Oh, but, um, the bummer is that's $1,500 out of our pocket. So anyway, so let me show you guys. Originally, this number right here, what our goal savings was. So it's not only, so this is the new number that we got today. So not, so that's the money that we need to have ready to go at closing for buying our house next week. But we also wanted to set aside $300 for just moving costs. That's the truck and then eating out all that stuff. Um, we have to get propane set up at the house, so that's about $100, but I just wanted to cover my bases, or actually $200, but I want to cover my bases. Um, we need to get the chimney cleaned so that way we can have a fire and not worry about starting fire wildfires. We are in Southern California. Um, oh, just realized that I don't need this prepaid number in here because it is now included in that number, so let me delete that. That makes that a little bit easier to swallow. Yes, I just noticed that. That's so exciting. Okay, good. All right, so now you guys can see that the difference between what we need, let me change this, 19024. So the difference between our goal and what we currently have is now only about $1,000. That is a lot easier to swallow. And since we have a third paycheck coming up that is totally unaccounted for, I'm thinking that it's not going to be hard to cover that at all. Hallelujah. Okay, so that will take care of the difference. That will take care of this difference with our third paycheck. Um, and then we'll almost have our $2,000 emergency savings, house savings, totally funded. And then we can move on to our master emergency fund, which our goal will be to get the three months of expenses paid in advance. And then um, and then the other exciting thing, I just it's just so exciting because we're so much more prepared now than we were just two months ago when we first originally thought we were going to buy the house. So it's such a blessing actually that this whole house buying process is taking forever. So um, this is the exciting part. So our first mortgage payment is not due until March. We do need to pay an entire month's worth of rent for January just because of the way things are working out. We want to make sure that we're not putting in our notice too soon. So, um, but we have that money already set aside. So we're gonna have one more paycheck in January that will um, be able to put money towards that. And then we'll have two paychecks in February. So by the time we move in, we will have our emergency house savings totally funded plus two months worth of mortgage already ready to go, ready to be drained out of our bank account. But anyways, and then since we're ahead, we'll always be two months ahead because we just continually keep contributing um, money to that account every single time we get a paycheck. So <sighs> a blessing, right? Okay, so that's the update for our budget for the month of December. Make sure that you're clicking that subscribe button if you haven't already because I do these types of budget updates every single month along with meal planning, grocery hauls, and um, other ways to help you guys live your dream life on less. And I have a series coming up that I'm so excited about, all about financial unity, how to get you and your spouse on the same page when it comes to your finances. So it's going to be amazing. So I'm really excited to share with you guys. Don't forget to grab your free downloads and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.